Sometimes you just gotta jump in. What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason John. I welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some thoughts and just a story about my personal journey, sharing content and how it's unlocked so many different avenues, doors and hallways for me in my journey as a DJ, as a business owner. This conversation was posed while I was on a panel yesterday with a number of very, very talented people that smash content in a lot of different areas. It was about taking the jump and making the jump and getting started releasing content and knowing when is the time to start. And I've been thinking about this ever since it was posed during that conversation in front of all the DJs that were in that room for Icon and all of us. Also the conversation that took place with me and a number of different people in the hallway directly after that session ended. And it's about where to start, how to invest and get things moving. And I have to just share this story really, really candidly here because I think someone somewhere can benefit from it. I owe my entire career, not only as a performing DJ myself, as a business owner to taking the jump and making the jump, creating content and releasing content to the world. See, during this panel discussion, I let the story out of how I got started and why I got started releasing content on platforms like the infant YouTube at the time. And I used to record these- Everybody, Jason Janai from Sound Connection Entertainment. That were shot with a shitty Sony hand cam. And I'm gonna put a video right up here if you wanna check it out from years ago. But these videos are really the foundation, the building blocks for my life in this industry, as well as my business life at the SE event crew. These videos attracted attention. These videos created opportunities for me and these these videos really planted the seeds for the forest that I live in today. The point of this video is if you are someone that is looking to accelerate your business, if you're someone that's looking to do more things, you need to really seriously consider releasing content on as many platforms as you possibly can because opening doors and unlocking the secret codes in life only comes with work, effort, care, and hustle. The quickest way to accelerate your business that I know of, not just today, not just tomorrow, but going back to the beginning was using social media, creating and releasing content, and sharing as much of the story as possible with anyone and everyone that was willing to view, listen, and connect to the content. These videos didn't always smash the numbers of views. These pictures or, or images or, or pieces of content on whatever platform didn't always get a ton of hearts or likes or even positive comments. Even on this channel, I've gotten so many really, really interesting and very confusing comments from people and my personal experiences that I'm hoping will help someone somewhere. And just by the number of people People that have come up to me and just shared some thoughts and comments and and just stories of how content found on this channel has helped them and their business just grow it's so humbling and that's really honestly the reason why I do all of this but creating content is really what allowed me to build a business see I was releasing content on different platforms because I couldn't compete with the people that had the biggest flashiest websites I didn't have the staff that some of these large organizations did but I did have incredibly cool parties. I was working for incredibly cool people and I was a talented DJ at the time. So I used social media to leverage my ability and to show my ability so that I could basically level the playing field that we were all on at that point in time. See, when I started my business, everyone told me it was never gonna work. Everyone told me it was the worst decision I was ever gonna make. People would never pay what I was getting paid at that point in time. Social media and me allowing my content and the things that I was seeing firsthand out onto the web, out onto the new Facebook and the old MySpace and the new YouTube and what would soon become Instagram, that allowed doors to unlock, opportunities to be presented to me, and it allowed things to happen that if I never did any of that content trip anywhere, I probably would never have been considered thought of or even just in the conversation for some of the events that now are the highlighted items on my resume or the things that I put on my wall in terms of imaging and pictures. And it allowed me to build up not only as a DJ myself, but it allowed me to build a business that supports a bunch of other DJs and their families. And that's the point of this. See, without content, people like Jeff Scott Gould and Tony T. Neto and Christian Lagateria and Paul Knox, they would have never came into my space. Even Nick Spinelli is an example of how content can connect with someone in a way that was compelling enough that Nick 
wanted to leave the company he previously worked for, where he was the number two person to come into the SCE event group, where he was going to be the number eighth person on the roster in terms of seniority. But he wanted to come here because he saw us doing cool things for cool people in a bunch of different ways. And it allowed that conversation to essentially start him sharing content actually got the conversation started with me so that we eventually sat down and thought through the way that he could possibly transition from his existing world and the things that were essentially his pain points and how we could bring him into the SCE event group fold and how we then could take what we knew, what he had, what he was capable of and put him onto this plan to essentially be successful at SCE. And that plan for him came together and he used social media and content creation to be attractive to couples and, and, and people that were planning events. And eventually it would click in not only with that universe of people that he was targeting, but it would then be accepted and really embraced by the community as a whole. And now Nick is someone that is in super demand because he continues to push the limits, push the bar and really create incredible content on platforms like TikTok, where he's literally catapulted into a complete next stratosphere in terms of demand and, and, and opportunities that are opening up for him and just a I mean, he has over 150 million views on his videos in less than six months on that platform. That is mind bending incredible. The point of this whole video is not to be a, oh, look at what we did and oh, look at what this and look at that. The point of this video is simple. If you are someone that is looking to throttle up your path in this industry, throttle up your business path as an organization, looking to throttle up the opportunities in front of you. You need to be collecting, curating, releasing, and, and just producing content every single time. Think about how you can release as much content into the world as possible so that you are not missing opportunities that are out there that you don't even know about. Because when you release content on social media, not only your universe sees it, but if it's good content, it'll engage with other people that could be searching for or viewing content that is like. You cannot afford to not do this. If you're looking to succeed, if you're looking to continue to grow, you need to have a plan in place to capture, create, and release content. And that's the message in this video. I appreciate you hanging with me to the end of this. I'm gonna put a list right over here of all these old ancient videos of me rocking parties in different places. So you can see how far my personal performances have grown over the past 15 years. So have some fun, dig deep. And if you have any questions, please throw it in the comments down below. I appreciate the watch on this. And uh, we have a ton of content on deck. So stay tuned and be on the lookout because it's coming to this channel very, very soon.